if we do not have an ayah, nas, a clear verse from the Quran. And we cannot talk about the Creator if we do not have a clear verse, ayah, in the universe. We cannot only guess about the Creator. Adhan, conjecture, is prohibited. You cannot follow the conjecture in belief. The evidences of the belief should be certain. You cannot follow the conjecture. There should be a certain evidence before you in order to follow and in order to believe. وَلَا تَقْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ Do not follow anything. You do not have a ilm about it, a certain knowledge about it. Because you have the ability to reach the certain knowledge. In the sama you have the ears, wal basara and you have the eyes, wal fuad and you have the intelligence, you have the heart, you have the mind. You are responsible to find the truth, to reach the truth because you, you are able to reach them. So you will not be excused to follow anything without certain knowledge. So, therefore, we cannot speak about Allah Azza wa Jal without certain knowledge. If we speak, if we utter about Him without certain knowledge, even if, even through conjecture, it is a very big dhulm about Allah. You are taking the right of the Creator from Him. You are putting yourself in the position of the Creator. Can you imagine an oppress bigger than this one? فَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ كَذَبَ عَلَى اللَّهِ Is there anyone who is more oppressor than the one who utters a lie? كَذَبَ عَلَى اللَّهِ Against Allah Azzawajal about Allah Azzawajal. Anything that does not true, it is lie. It is against Allah. You cannot imagine something according you, it is appropriate to Allah, it's proper to Allah, and you utter that thing about Allah Azzawajal. You speak that thing in the name of Allah Azzawajal. And you excuse yourself that the things you Told, uh, you uttered about him is good thing. No. This is the way of conjecture. You have, you should have a certain knowledge. You should have a clear ayah in order to speak about the Creator, in order to say something about him. Some people ex excused themselves when they speak in the name of Allah Azza and they said Allah Azza should be like this or Allah Azza should like this this is a good thing but according to you you are not Al Alim you are saying to something today good and you deny that thing and you uh, change your opinion in another day you, you should not trust yourselves if you do not have certain knowledge after certain knowledge after clear evidence you can speak about them something and some people also by the same tokens spoke about the Prophet they invented many ahadith and while excusing themselves they said, we are encouraging to be the people to do more good and tried to invent many ahadith encouraging the people. This is also kadib. Man kadhaba alayya mutahammidan, the Prophet sallallahu says, if you utter a lie about me or in the name of mine, then Prepare yourselves. Then let him prepare himself to the hellfire. 
So you cannot follow, we cannot follow the conjecture, we cannot utter some statements in the name of Allah or in the name of the Prophet through conjecture, through good intentions or through bad intentions. Let alone the bad intentions. We cannot invent them through the good intentions. All of them is dhulm. فَمَنْ أَظْلَمْ And there is no dhulm much bigger than the dhulm of speaking about Allah Azza wa Jal, talking about Him uh, without knowledge, speaking lie against Allah Azza wa Jal. For example, shirk. If you say that there is some idols, Allah Azza wa Jal gave them some authority, and we should worship them, we should pray to them because they are much purer than us and they will transmit and they will transfer our demands to Allah. This is the way of shirk. And they described it, the Quraysh described this way with their belief in Quran. مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَى In the beginning of Surah Az-Zumar, we talked about it. Do they have, did, did they have a certain evidence about their belief? No. Allah Azza wa Jal say, In hi asma'un sammaytumuha. These are only names. You invented them. La ta'uzza hubal. These are only names. You invented them. And there is no any reality in these words, behind the, the, these word, words. You invented them. And you are the ones who says that Allah Azza wa Jal gave them such authority. Allah bima la ya'lam. Do you inform us? Do you inform Allah something? Allah actually, in fact, do not know it. Allah bima la ya'lam fi samawati wa la fil ard. Their guilty was this speaking about Allah without knowledge, producing something in the name of Allah Azza wa Jal without certain knowledge. And this disbelief took them to the hellfire. And if you do the same, if you do the same through something else, not idols by, but through some shuyukhs, some ulama, some people and if you think that they know the unseen and they can help you and they can reach you and you should pray to them beside Allah Azza wa Jal, then you are at the same position because we believe in Islam and all the prophets came with the same message that we should not worship anything beside Allah Azza wa We can only worship Him, the only one, God. So in the history, you can see many belief produced by the people. And those who produced that belief, there is no wrongdoers worse than them. And those who followed them and repeated the same belief, denying their mind, denying their understanding, they are at the same position. And those in that day before Allah, when the people disputing with each other, the people which are in a real terrible, terrible situation, those who uttered lies about the Creator, the other ones the position, the problem of the others can be solved. If you do something wrong to your neighbor, may Allah Azza wa Jal take from your goods and give him, or may take from his sins and give you and solve the problem. But the problem of those who commit such crime against Allah Azza wa Jal, 
they cannot, their problem cannot be solved at that day. They are in a real terrible position. They are in a real terrible situation. Before of this, because of this reason, Allah Azza wa Jal, after describing that day, after describing the human entity, disputing with each, with each other, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned those who commit a crime speaking about the Creator speaking against Him uttering lie against Allah and that they are the biggest oppressor because the, the problem is uh, cannot be solved Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi Allah will not forgive those who associate others in worship with Allah who speak about Allah and describe Allah in the way that Allah does, did not describe himself he say that Allah has son the only one God has son but Allah did not say I have son Allah did not say to Adam that he has son he did not say to Abraham that he have son. He did not inform Moses that he have son. He did not inform any apostle in the history that he have son. But those, the pagans after Jesus السلام, they invented that falsehood and they committed that crime against Allah Azza They said that Allah has son Allah adapted a son to himself subhanahu wa ta'ala how it can be how can you imagine a son to the only one God those there is no wrongdoer bigger much bigger than those who says that Allah has son this is the biggest crime speaking about the only one God without any without any real clear evidence nor from the book of the Creator you cannot find in any book even in the Bible itself you cannot find the Jesus himself and all the believers and all the humans who believed in Allah they believed in only one God. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا. ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا. ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به. وأفعلنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا. أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته